All right. Okay. So I received an email um, that the U.S. Mint is going to have a release here uh, in about a week. Um, and, you know, usually I, I get emails from the Mint all the time uh, for various things. You know, uh, a new Mint set, a new commemorative coin that comes out. Um, the, the CC and O Privy Morgans, I mean, you know, that, that's one of the big chase coins for the year. Uh, the new Silver Eagles, they're really, really pr heavily promoting that. And, um, actually it's, it's really quite exciting. I, I'm not really a big, like, Silver Eagle person, but, um, this year it's, uh, the game has changed a little bit because, um, there's, there's a new reverse design They actually refer to it as the reverse of 2021 and then the outgoing design is the reverse of 1986 i feel like that's pretty appropriate for uh for kind of like this um transitional bridge that we have going on for the silver eagle so um but the coin in question is one in which that i firmly believe that they have to cancel um and it's it's the product that's coming out july 20 june 22nd uh, and I'm going to tell you what, um, I think the timing is just wrong to release this product, given the fact that we've already established based off of a few press releases and emails that, um, uh, that silver is a little bit in short supply, uh, you know, among the, the bad, you know, uh, website that they're trying to contend with right now, they ha they really have a lot of things going on that that uh it's going to hamper the overall processing of any sort of mint product now if you had to go back and order um a 2021 proof set that should be pretty easy because you know by now um the amount of web traffic to get that type of item is very minimal but this bad boy right here the u.s air force two and a half ounce silver medal it's coming out June 22nd with no mintage limit, no product limit, household order limit of one per um, at $160. The metal measures two inches in diameter. Uh, it's a perfect gift for military history buffs and students. Or how about the people that have actually served in the Air Force? You know, kind of makes sense. Uh, honors the United States Air Force. Okay, so... I will just say this right straight up. I have nothing against our armed services. I just don't. My dad was in the Navy for for decades, okay? And we also have other family members that have served uh, in the Marines and the Army and all that. So, yeah, I, I mean, you know, it has. it's not a knock on the product itself. But I think it's a little bit auspicious that the U.S. Mint is moving forward with this kind of product and yeah it's going to be a low volume seller i think historically because this is not the first silver medal that they've released they've released them the few last number of years or whatever uh, to commem commemorate the presidents okay and actually they have a few this year that they are releasing as well so i mean it's a regular part of their u.s mint schedule of products however come on two and a half ounces per silver silver metal and let's say on the low end they probably sell a few thousand of these um so it's not a high volume seller why why even try and sell it right now when their silver silver and their vendors are in such short supply of of the this precious metal is beyond me as you guys know the u.s mint had uh taken down the pre-sales of the remaining morgan dollars uh the dns and the philadelphia along with the peace dollar i think above all else people are really looking forward to those releases even today we, we are beyond the final two uh pre-order dates um which they've taken down promptly after the CCNO Morgan 
uh, were made available. And uh, if you were able to grab any of those, good luck. We'll see if they fulfill it in November. I know it's supposed to be October, but per their last email, they've pushed it also that window into November. So what up, right? <laughs> um, but I think... And, and I'm not going to only isolate it to the U.S. Air Force two and a half ounce silver medal, but also all the other silver medals for the year, uh, because I'm pretty sure, you know, if they don't, if the U.S. Mint does not refine their own stuff, I'm pretty sure that they, they don't. They they have some sort of like production or outsourcing that they use to um, uh, to acquire. Uh, their their silver blanks, their trip nine finds for their proof sets, and you know for silver eagles, and apparently the silver eagle program um, has been going off without a hitch. As a matter of fact, the proof ones, there's a proof American eagle that's going to be coming out here in a few weeks. Okay, and this is going to have the brand new reverse. So obviously they're set to go on this coin. But I think in the spirit of trying to do what's right to um, to get the other Morgans and the One Piece dollar back on the map for availability, they, they need to stop producing all other silver type of coins or metals. All right. And that also includes this one here, the William Henry Harrison Presidential Silver Medal. I mean, how many of those did they sell? Um, I think these are one ounce silver medals. Uh, there's another one that was released a little bit earlier in the year. Uh, the Martin Van Buren on February 1st. I think that one is also one ounce. But they also have a few other silver medal releases um, that are coming up. The John Tyler Presidential Silver Medal is an August 2nd release. The U.S. Coast Guard that's also a two and a half ounce silver medal. Again, no knock against the Coast Guard, the Air Force, or the Marines, or whoever else. Um, you know, they are one of the most, they are the important, you know, I, I think above all else, they are the most important. Um, but, you know, as far as tracking actual sales of things of this nature, they're oh so small. So I figure, why not just take the two and a half and one ounce triple nine fine blanks and send them back to the refiner and get some blanks suitable for the Morgan MP dollar? I, I think that's that's what they need to do. Now, I, I may be talking about this as being very selfish because, you know, I really do want those Morgan MP dollars to... Um, to come to actual reality rather than sitting here like, huh, what if, what if they do this? What if they do that? What if they cancel the CC and O privy program because they just cannot fulfill, you know, that, I mean, people have been talking about that yet. There there's 1400 sales of pre-orders of the pre-order of those two coins respectively on eBay up to this point so that's going to be just a cluster you know what um but i think during this period of time where they need to right size not only the website issues which obviously costs money it costs like manpower resources to get that fixed but also having the silver available for the most important programs for this year um, like that Silver Eagle that's coming out July 1st is going to sell out like that. But could they have made the mintage a little bit higher? They could have, uh, because I think the, the product limit is like 300,000. So you look at the bottom of this list of products. They have the last three Morgans in the piece at, in TBD status, which is to be determined. And we need to get that off of TBD status and get it back to where people can order it. Um, and then here's the U.S. Air Force one ounce silver medal, which is also in TBD status. I believe this was supposed to be released in conjunction with the large two and a half ouncer. So, yeah, this is all kind of mind boggling stuff as to why 
it's very questionable. Like, why are they selling some of the things that um, that aren't really that good as sellers, but yet they they manage to have the supply to produce these metals and coins? I I don't know. It's uh, it's very crazy. And if the U.S. Mint ex- expects to have more business come into their website to order more stuff. They need to do something to put back all of the popular products that we're expecting back on there. All right. And it's as simple as that. I know it sounds simple, but you know, obviously there's going to be some things that's going to prevent them from actually moving, moving forward with such a plan. And I'm hoping that, you know, at the very least that, that they'll, consider it now the cc and morgans that we know uh, i'm actually bringing up ebay here it's just a little bit slow but as of right now we got 1424 uh confirmed pre-order sales and the prices have been have been dropping now not not as a result of lost demand or just the overall sentiment in the product, you know. But what I really think is happening here, because these things were pre-selling of the pre-sale for between two hundred fifty and three hundred dollars for a while, and then the U.S. Mint had made the announcement that they were uh, putting the other four coin releases on the back burner. I think people got kind of, I don't know, salty. Uh, oh, I mean, there's a few here that still sold. For, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I was thinking that these pre-order sales were actually going to go up because the U.S. Mint had made an announcement that the other four coins were going to be put aside for now till they could sort out, number one, their website server issues, and number two, the, the short supply of silver. All right, so they seem to go hand in hand, and they brought both of those up when they were alluding to the Morgan and Peace Dollar series. Um, but as you can see, the prices are still really, really robust and very strong. And I'll, I want to kind of play like a little bit of devil's advocate. So let's play the what if game here. What if we only see the CC and O privy coins and that they elected based off of some of the other intangibles um with the silver and all that stuff that they have no ability to mint the other four coins that's going to make these coins not only incredibly um sought after uh but it's also going to put a lot of uh straining on the overall supply when these do release and that's going to just shoot the values up which it's just it, it mind boggles me because you could just as easily pick up a mid state 63 or mid state 64 Carson City Morgan, uh, like an old school one from like 1884, for like 250 to 300 bucks. And these coins, these 2021s, are already there. They're already selling at the minimum of 250 and up. So if. I mean, yeah, the, the, the product limit will be a lot less. They'll be under 200000 if they elected that they, they can't produce any other, like, multi-coin sets. Then, you know, that might actually be the finite mintage figures for both the CC and O at one seventy-five piece. Uh, 175000 that is. But could we possibly see each one of these coins hit $500 in November? Um, which, by the way, is, you know, the fall season... From the end of September all the way up through the new year is like some of the most expensive prices you will pay for coins. Because people are getting back into the hobby at that point after taking some time off uh, over the summer. So yeah, this is this is quite crazy. We could possibly see some really expensive coins, whether they deserve it or not. I don't know. Uh, again, I'm still holding true to my opinion, that no one under any circumstances should sell their pre-orders on eBay right now uh, until we can figure out what's going on or 
the U.S. Mint can figure out what's going on with their supply. Um, because, it, you know, let's look at scenario number two. What if they decide, well, we cannot do anything with this at all because of the silver supply. So we have to refund all of the CC and O privy confirmed, uh, I guess, pre-orders. Um, so that's just going to force a lot of people to issue returns and, or uh, refunds. There's nothing to return. Nobody has physical product right now. Um, and it's going to be kind of a mess for both the seller and the buyer. Uh, especially when you get closer to that 90 day window, I believe where beyond the 90 day window, um, you have no recourse uh, for a refund, uh, per eBay's rules and regulations. But at the same time, their policy states that nobody can sell pre-sale of items if there's no physical product that is going to be, you know, uh, I, I guess, uh, I don't know. Uh, that That's going to be uh, with an expected um, street date for these. Uh, because right now, it's October to November. And there you go. But this is... Uh, it's really crazy. I think we're going to see a few uh, very highly speculative products. Um, the first one being... And it's sold out as quick as you can blink an eye. This one here, February 11th. This is the outgoing proof um, Silver Eagle that was made in West Point with the reverse of 1986. If you blink, you missed out on that. I mean, surprisingly, right? Um, th there's also been chatter in the forum pages and Facebook that the, um, the reverse of 86 and not only kind of like the special strikes, the proof strikes, but also the regular one ounce bullion coins uh, are low minted, low mintage. And from what I hear that the final mintage of that reverse of 86 is actually a very low figure. It's like 6.8 million uh, pieces that were produced of that particular uh, bullion coin, which is just made to be, you know, a investable, let me pick up, a, you know, a roll. So that way I have some silver in my holdings. Uh, but obviously, when you're paying $45, $50 a coin, um, it's not just about silver. There is a pretty stiff premium that people are paying to own just regular silver eagles. So that that's the first like highly specced out coin is that one. But also this one that's dropping July 1st. Um, figuring, again, that silver is in short supply with the U.S. Mint, that this... This uh, limit right here, product limit of 300000 might be it. The household, old, household order limit of twenty five is just killer. Like, why is that even necessary to do on something like this? Uh, considering that it's going to, if they drop the household order limit to five, it'll still sell out in 20 minutes, you know? Much like the, the, uh, the first two Morgans that sold a few weeks ago. So, I don't know. I, I don't know where they get these numbers from. I mean, that seems like the type of household order limit that you would throw out on a product that has like a million mintage or a million product limit number. Uh, but not 300,000. It just doesn't, it just doesn't make any sense. And especially on this like really incredibly popular reverse design that collectors and investors are looking forward to actually having one in their hand. I just, I don't know. It this is just it's going to uh, it's de definitely going to break the secondary market. And, and you could say the same for these these gold one ounce and fractional uh, coins as well. These gold eagles, these things are going to be nuts uh, with much lower supplies too at only 2000 but here's the reverse design of this i think the silver eagle has it beat although this one here with the eagle's head I mean, it's not too bad i mean it's very highly detailed it looks good you know it's an eagle <laughs> that's for sure and, and not a uh, dodo bird you know which um 
if the U.S. Mint isn't careful, you know, some some of the coins we've been looking forward to might actually go extinct with the Dodo Bird. Uh, those four Morgan and Peace dollars certainly are the ones that, that's been weighing very heavily in people's minds. And I know, I mean, we're weeks out and months out from actual drop date and from the actual original ordering date. Uh, but I figure now is a good time to kind of like check in. Seeing as how the U.S. Mint's releasing this big old hunk of chunk of two and a half ounce silver metal out of like nowhere. I mean, it's kind of like out of nowhere. I mean, it's been on their order product page for probably a few months now. But it's like, they're releasing this after everything that's been going on and, and all of the, the heartache that they're putting their their customers through. It's just, and not only regular plebeian customers like me. But also the uh, the bigger like silver dealers and all that stuff that actually have agreements with the U.S. Mint to pick up early advanced orders of some of these products, even they're going to be feeling, feeling the pinch. But that's what I wanted to talk about. I don't know. would love to hear your guys' thoughts on how the U.S. Mint is so far trying to handle all this stuff. It feels like nothing's changed, and, and I, I am probably... Uh, on a very long list of people that actually think that they ought to uh, possibly put some of their silver products on hold till next year. Uh, besides, those silver metals have no date on them. So they could they could push that out into 2022. Hopefully, supply levels begin to kind of even out a little bit. That remains to be seen. Um there's a lot of things that are just screwing us up. The crypto market, their crappy websites, the demand for physical silver in all forms. It's just, it's crazy right now. It's really nuts. And especially with all other different indices of collectibles, um, kind of, you know, either flatlining or dropping or retracing, you know, coins and PMs continue to hold strong um, going into the summer months. So, that's going to go ahead and do it, guys. I'm your uh, lovable neighborhood uh, coin guy, I guess. Uh, Blue Ridge Silver Allen. I'm Sean. Thank you for joining. Thank you for all of the support that you guys uh, have uh, put in with my channel through all of these years. Uh, that's going to go ahead and do it. Don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, if you like today's content. Um, and don't forget to hit that bell for the instant notifications of new videos that are going to be coming up here momentarily all right that's gonna go ahead and do it you guys take care coinaholics it was a pleasure you guys have a good evening so long